Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to discuss John Hosper's article on libertarianism. Let me share the screen with you. Okay. Here we go. Okay, John Hospers is an American philosopher and politician. In 1972, he was the first presidential candidate of the Libertarian Party. Now, libertarian is the political theory that holds that everyone is the owner of his or her own life. No one is the owner of anyone else's life. So that means that um, everyone has a right to act according to their own choices unless their choices infringe on the equal liberty of others. Okay, a lot of times we hear this term libertarianism. Uh, this is political libertarianism, by the way. There's another use of libertarianism. It's kind of a little bit confusing, but in uh, uh, metaphysics, the idea that we do have free will uh, is metaphysical libertarianism. But uh, we're going to set that aside. But I'm just letting you know in case you ever take a course or run into that. Libertarianism uh, comes is a, is a word that's um, um, it's something to do with liberty, right, or freedom, <clears throat> the word. So uh, in this country, there are uh, libertarians. There's a libertarian party uh, that have put uh, together people to run for president. Uh, so you may have heard of that. So that's what we're talking about. It's that political libertarianism that we're talking about. So no one is the owner of anyone else's life. That's the, the idea. No one has the right to enslave uh, another. I have no right to take money from others to pay for what I want, even if it would be good for them. So for instance, uh, if I think it would be good that everybody should go to the opera, uh, and uh, so I and people who love the opera think I should be able to go to the opera for free, um, it's not right to take money through taxes for other people to, uh, for some people to do something that they think is important. So it's this, um, this sort of brute, um, uh, basic primary idea that everybody should be left alone as much as possible to do their own thing. Now, libertarians are government minimalists, but they go even further than that. They think government should stay out of our lives almost entirely, except for when uh, protecting us from outside and within, uh, maybe for keeping up bridges and roads and things. But for the most part, they're for very low taxes. I mean, only taxes that would be collected for those essential things. <clears throat> Hosper says, beware of the inventors of utopias. He says, they would remake the world with other people's labor. Other people's lives are not theirs to dispose of. Should people have free medical care? Uh, well, no, because that would be at the expense of other people. He says, no human being should be a non-voluntary mortgage on the life of another. Uh, not anyone can pick fruit from my orchard. Uh, the wealth of some should not be looted by the government, okay? No matter what the motives. See, this is a very individualist idea, a very atomistic idea. Uh, if you think in terms of atoms versus wholes, um, atoms are like parts of things. So like you think of individuals. Uh, if you think of the uh, society, think of society or you know, a state uh, organization of people as being, being more about the individuals than you might be attracted to libertarianism um, or that would be the, uh, the sort of, um, you know, one, one of the, uh, the best sort of uh, political theories for someone who's uh, a real individualist. Now, this is opposed to someone who thinks that society on a more holistic level should be provided for, that we are our brother's keeper and to more of an extent, that we should be thinking uh, of others all the way to where uh, we should have to pay for other people's uh, 
welfare, that's a more socialist idea. Uh, libertarianism is sort of the direct opposite of that. So, um, so no matter what the motives, people should not be required to be taxed. They should not, people should not be taxed for the benefit of other people beyond just the minimum um, preventing aggression from others. Every person has a right to life. Uh, every person has uh, a liberty to conduct life without coercion, and everyone has a right to property, that is to retain the fruits of his or her labor. People often defend rights of life and liberty, but denigrate property rights. But property is as basic as the other two. Property rights, very important. I may try to persuade you to change your lifestyle or spend your money a certain way if you will listen. Uh, so maybe I can talk you into, or maybe I can be part of a group that tries to talk people into giving money for charity or giving money for uh, people to go to the opera. That's, that's uh, Hosper's fanciful example. Uh, of course, he means here any kind of like uh, money for the arts and money for you know, the poor and things like that. Um, it's okay to, you know, for people to try to persuade other people to give, but they should not have money taken from them, uh, say, for instance, through taxes. Uh, this is considered force. Uh, I may try to persuade you to change your lifestyle um, if you listen, but I have no right to decide for you, uh, for instance, to give to the Red Cross instead of going to prize fights. Uh, say, I want to go to prize fights, but uh, you're going to make me give money to the Red Cross. Well, that's, that's not right. That's forcing me to give uh, money that I earn through my own hard work uh, and the government, uh, the state should not be taking that from me, no matter what the motive. When I claim a right, it is like I put up a no trespassing sign. Governments recognize and protect rights. They don't create them. Government is the most dangerous institution known to humans. The only proper role of government is to protect the citizen against aggression by others. Beyond that, the government should not intrude in our lives to run business or to prescribe a personal moral code. Governments have gone, oh, sorry, that's fast. Governments have gone far beyond this function, right? The governments do tax for all kinds of things that libertarians would be against. Say someone has violently assaulted you. Well, they should pay, right? They should pay up. Let's say someone has left their bicycle on the street and injured you. Well, so they should pay, right? They should be made to pay. But let's say someone across the street is unemployed. Should there be a basic, uh, an extra tax to take care of them? Absolutely not. You should not be legally penalized for his unemployment. So. You should not be legally penalized for his unemployment, right, across the street. Uh, each must live with the consequences of his own decisions. Now, there are three kinds of laws. Hospers breaks it all down to three kinds of laws, right? There's laws protecting individuals against themselves. So, for instance, uh, sexual behavior, alcoholism, drugs. So, laws preventing people from um, hurting themselves. There's also laws protecting against aggressions by other individuals, for instance, murder, uh, robbery, fraud, etc. Then there are laws requiring people to help one another, so welfare, so helping other people. Libertarians reject the first and second class. They reject, no, 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 that's, that's wrong. Sorry. The first and third class, right? So they reject the um, protecting laws protecting against themselves and laws requiring people to help each other or the, you know requiring people be taxed in order to help uh, poor or uh, something like that. So they only accept the second one, right? Protecting against aggressions. So this is kind of an interesting. Uh, <clears throat> Um, feature of libertarianism, um, and that is that if 
they're against laws that that would uh, protect people against themselves. So, for instance, uh, drugs for a true libertarian drug should be legalized. Uh, all, all drugs, really. I mean, we should not be legislating to protect people from themselves. That's their own responsibility. Uh, now, he does say that it doesn't mean that anything goes. If people break the law because they are taking drugs, it doesn't matter if they're breaking the law, if they're doing anything, then they should be prosecuted. Um, but he makes a point that, well, in his numbers, uh, writing when he did, he says 75% of the burglaries in New York City are from uh, heroin addicts and trying to get heroin because it's illegal. If you were to legalize heroin, uh, I know that sounds horrible to our usual ways of thinking about things, but if you hear the libertarian out, what they're saying is if you legalize drugs, say heroin in New York, uh, the burglaries would just stop because heroin is actually very cheap to make. People could get their heroin through, you know, um, any number of ways that it's super cheap to make. Um, and so all the burglaries would just stop or would go down. Well, actually, 25 percent would still be there. Because, so 75 percent of the burglaries would stop. Um, so he's, the point he's making there is that the, a lot of the negative effects of drugs is what happens because they're illegal. Okay. So governments have taken from some to give to others. Uh, okay, uh, I'm sorry, okay, got confused. Uh, so they would reject the first set of laws. Um, behavior which harms no one is the individual's own affair. So there should be no laws against becoming intoxicated, no laws against DWI, uh, driving while intoxicated should be in effect. Um, no laws should be uh, against drugs, although there's some exceptions like uh, sale to minors. Most social harm caused by addicts is a result of thefts. Thefts would stop or at least go way down if you legalized it. Only the second kind of laws should be accepted. Aggression by individuals on individuals. So the sole function of government should be to stop aggression of individuals on other individuals. So the third set of laws should be rejected. Those are the ones about welfare for others. No one should be forced by law to help others, not even to give the time of day. Okay. Um, the, um, sometimes people who are of a more liberal bent, um, are in favor of legalizing drugs or at least legalizing some drugs. So libertarianism can become attractive to someone like that. Um, although your basic political liberal in today's society is, tends to be for helping others through welfare and thinks that taxes are a legitimate way to collect money for uh, helping uh, unfor you know, unfortunate others or people who are in need. Uh, so this idea of not taxing at all, not taking people's money at all to help others, that seems to put them off. So uh, similarly, um, your political conservatives these days might uh, like the third one, where we're not to tax um, political conservatives in the current uh, political climate, and, and for years it's been this way, uh, tends to be against um, taxes or laws that make people um, help other people. So the whole safety net idea is kind of a anti to political conservatism. Um, although they would be uncomfortable with the idea of legalizing drugs. And so you see there's a, there's an attractive part of libertarianism and a, um, unattractive part of libertarianism for both uh, liberals and conservatives. So governments have taken from some to give to others in the guise of humanitarianism. But Hospers, in his very delicate way, says that this is moral cannibalism, someone who believes they have a right to live off someone else. Some claim a right to a job, to free food and clothing, to a decent home, but who is to provide them? 
must an employer hire you even if she doesn't want to? What about her right to, her right to liberty to hire who she thinks fit? Uh, no such thing. Uh, there's no such thing as free services, right? Um, if you demand something free, you are interfering with someone else's right to choose. Some may ask, shouldn't government assist the needy to provide social security, minimum wage, fixed prices, curb monopolies, guarantee jobs? Hospers sums it up and says, no, no. He thinks the free market solves all problems. Okay, I hope that this video has been uh, of assistance in understanding this very interesting article on political libertarianism. Thanks for watching and 